One day, a 10-year-old British boy with passion in his heart walked up to Ron Dennis, the owner of McLaren Group, and said, Hi, I'm Lewis Hamilton. I won the British Championship, and one day I want to be racing your cars. Dennis then wrote in his autograph book, Phone me in nine years, we'll sort something out then. It's been over a decade now, and we all know how things turned out for the boy, who became the youngest driver of that group to contest in F1. Hello and welcome back guys, this is the F1 Zone, a channel that gives you the most intriguing facts and views of Formula 1 world. Before we begin, please like the video, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel instantly. Click on the bell icon for notification on our latest videos. Now it's time to talk about the topic of the video, the elephant in the room. Toto Wolff just revealed that Lewis Hamilton can leave, we are ready. How is that possible? What does it mean for Hamilton? Is this really the last of him we'll see on the racing track? According to statistics, Lewis Hamilton is the most successful Formula 1 driver in history. Hamilton is still at the top of his game, despite being 37 years old. He was on the verge of claiming his 8th Drivers Championship. Finally, however, it was won by Max Verstappen. Hamilton hasn't spoken publicly since then, and rumours of his retirement continue to spread. But more on his scandal later. About Lewis Hamilton a legendary F1 racer, Hamilton began his career by driving for McLaren and currently competes for Mercedes. He's won a joint record seven World Drivers' Championship titles tied with Michael Schumacher and holds records for the most wins, pole, positions and podium finishes. In 1998, Hamilton joined the McLaren Young Driver program. This led to a Formula 1 drive with McLaren in 2007, making Hamilton the series' first and so far only black driver. Hamilton set multiple records throughout that season, finishing second to Kimi Raikkonen by one point. He won his maiden title the following season in a spectacular manner, executing a key overtaking on the final lap of the F1 season's final race to become the youngest Formula 1 champion in history. Hamilton joined Mercedes in 2013 after four more years with McLaren. Over the years, Hamilton has had rivalries with a world champion Fernando Alonso and Nico Rosberg. His favourite rivalry seemed to be with Sebastian Vettel. Recently, Hamilton and Verstappen are two rivals of Formula 1 who engage in some intense competition and spice it up for their viewers. The duo has had quite a lot of controversies during the 2021 season. The biggest was the last race in the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The Abu Dhabi Grand Prix controversy. Lewis Hamilton had led for virtually the entire race on Sunday and was on his way to a record-breaking 8th World Championship. However, after a safety car was deployed to deal with a Nicholas Latifi condition just five circuits from the finish, he was passed by Verstappen on the final lap. During the wait, Verstappen, who was in second at the time, changed his tyres while Hamilton stayed out in front to maintain track position on his older pair. There were initially five lap cars in the queue behind the safety car between the two title contenders. Instead of allowing all lap cars to unlap themselves, race director Michael Massey decided that only those five should be allowed to do so. Mercedes, Hamilton's team, protested that Mr Massey's actions were against the rules, but the appeal was dropped by the stewards. Soon after, they lodged a notice of intent to appeal, and they had until Thursday evening to notify the FIA if they intended to appeal to the International Court of Appeal. Thus, Max Verstappen's win was contested by Hamilton and his team. They argued that there was an unfair advantage of the Dutch driver in while winning the championship, and the sports governing body did not cut any slack for Hamilton. They said that Lewis was tarnishing the image of F1. This is what the Mercedes team had to say when the ruling did not go as per their wish. As you can imagine, not only for him, Hamilton, but also for us as a team, it was terrible to be confronted with a decision that decided the outcome of the World Championship. But none of us, neither him or us, want to win a World Championship in the courtroom. But on the other side, we were deeply wronged on Sunday, and it wasn't just a case of a bad call. It was freestyle reading of the rules, and it left Lewis sitting like a duck. This entire debacle perpetually put Hamilton in pain and distress, as one can imagine. Hence, there is a real possibility of him not coming back next season. Is Hamilton really quitting? Without Mercedes, imagining Lewis Hamilton is like imagining Yin without Yang and Holmes without Dr. Watson. Lewis has been the star driver of the team ever since his move from McLaren in the 2013 season. These nine seasons, eight constructors and six drivers titles for both Hamilton and the company have been a journey. He is still the best driver they have and a profound connection to them. 
Mercedes Chief Toto Wolff, on the other hand, maintains that he is ready to expand his team's activities even if F1 is no longer an option. He does, however, believe that there is still plenty accomplished with Hamilton. It doesn't bother me at all, Wolff remarks, because I will always respect Lewis's choices. Whether that means staying with us for a long period or quitting the sport and pursuing other pursuits, he says. I think we need to be prepared for all kinds of curveballs being thrown at us, but at the same time, we talk a lot and we are very transparent with each other. I think there is more to achieve together. So who could the drive be alongside George Russell? If and when Lewis calls it a day from racing, replacing him will not be an easy task. But Mercedes definitely has a large pool of drivers to choose from, be it their own F1 juniors such as Esteban Ocon or Nick De Vries, or competitors from rival teams such as Lando Norris, Carlos Sainz, Max Verstappen or even Oscar Piastri. One thing is for sure, the Brackley team won't have any problem attracting the right talent away. Accelerate your hopes again. Hamilton extended his Mercedes contract by two years in the middle of 2021. Furthermore, Mercedes recently posted a cryptic social media tweet indicating Hamilton's return, so we could see Hamilton in 2022, there's no doubt about it. While Verstappen maintained radio silence on social media about the post, this is what he had to say to the press on his win. I don't feel sorry for Hamilton, but I understand that it can be excruciating. But at the end of the day, that is racing. You have to keep fighting until the end, and anything can happen. He also won a championship like that, so I think he can understand as well. Verstappen also stated he was unconcerned about the possibility of losing his first world title due to an appeal. He said, it's hard to believe it's been nearly nine years working with this incredible team, and I'm excited we're going to continue our partnership for two more years. We've accomplished so much together, but we still have a lot to achieve both on and off the track. In spite of signing the contract, Wolf also failed to give any assurances that Lewis would be attempting record weight title. He said, I very much hope that Lewis continues racing because he's the greatest driver of all time, he said. We will be working through the events over the next weeks and months, and I think it is a racer, his heart will say, I need to continue because he is at the peak of his game. And we can't agree more. Watching this seven-time star in action and bringing his A-game every time has been inspiring. It would have been breaking our hearts to see a sportsman quite early because of such controversy. We have at least two and hopefully more years exciting championships to look forward to with Hamilton coming back in style. That was it for this video guys, thank you for watching to the end. Let us know in the comments about who could have stepped into Hamilton's shoes. Also, go on and debate over the controversial Grand Prix incident. The comment section is all yours. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to F1 Zone. With that, we will see you in the upcoming video. Until then, take care, bye.